So you're looking to move to Troy, Michigan, and whether you're looking to relocate from out of state or maybe you're just moving cities from within Metro Detroit, you want to know all of the good and the bad, the pros and the cons about Troy, Michigan. So in this video, we are going to cover exactly that. We are going to cover what makes Troy, Michigan good and maybe some of the things that are not so good. So let's jump right in. If you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Nick. I'm a top producing real estate agent here in Metro Detroit, Michigan, and myself and my team have helped hundreds of individuals and families move to and around the Metro Detroit area. So if you're into that and you're looking to move, whether it's one month or one year from now, our contact information is in the description below. And also make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that bell button. That way you're notified of all of the new and upcoming information throughout Metro Detroit, Michigan. So let's jump into the pros and cons of Troy, Michigan. All right, so let's jump into the pros of Troy, Michigan, and then we'll wrap up with some of the cons or some of the not so good things about the city of Troy. Starting off with number one is going to be the location. Troy is located about 30 minutes north of downtown Detroit. The city itself covers about 33 square miles and is populated by almost 87,000 people. Troy, Michigan also ranks very high on a livability scale. That is because of its location and proximity throughout Metro Detroit, Michigan, but also its proximity to some major cities throughout like downtown Detroit, Ann Arbor, and so on. The next benefit or pro of living in Troy, Michigan is the cost of living. Obviously, when picking a place to live or move to, the cost of living is a very important consideration to take. Depending on who you ask, the cost of living could actually be high or it could be low. Compared to the national average, the city of Troy has a fairly low cost of living percentage, but because of the shopping and all of the different centers, including Somerset Collection, the dining and different stores, it could also be a very high cost of living. Overall, the cost of living in Troy is ranked 6% higher than the national average, with housing being 10% higher, utilities 6% lower, and groceries pretty much right on par with the national average. The next and third benefit of living in Troy, Michigan is the school district. The Troy School District has been ranked as an A plus on niche.com, A plus for academics, A plus for teachers, A for sports, A minus for diversity, A plus for college prep, and A plus for administration. The Troy School District also ranks number two out of 557 as the best school districts in the state of Michigan, and number 11 out of 562 as districts with the best teachers in Michigan. And if you're a teacher looking to move to Troy, it was ranked number 14 in the state for best places to be a teacher in Michigan. And as far as an overall ranking goes for the city of Troy, Troy was ranked number two out of 791 of the best places to live in the state of Michigan, and number two out of 336 for best suburbs to live in Michigan. Coming in at number four on the list for pros of Troy is the diversity or the amount of entertainment and activities that you can do. So although Troy, Michigan does not have a central downtown area, they do have a pretty centralized location with Somerset Collection for shopping as well as dining and entertainment. If you enjoy shopping or a night out with your significant other or just a family dinner, Troy has a lot of different places that you can go and some of my very favorites throughout Metro Detroit, Michigan for shopping, for instance, as I've already discussed, the Somerset Collection Mall. And then there's different restaurants throughout the Strip and throughout all of Troy that are highly recommended. So as you can see with these benefits that I just listed, I am getting people almost on a daily basis reaching out to me about the city of Troy with interest in moving to or around the area. All right, so now that we've talked about the pros of living in Troy, Michigan, let's discuss some of the cons or some of the things that people don't like so much about the city. Coming in at number one is actually the housing pricing and the real estate market. If you have lived in Troy, Michigan, you're actually a fan and you view the housing market as a pro because of the appreciation rate and because housing prices has grown so substantially. Because if you've owned a home, the appreciation rate is so high that you actually have more equity and your house is worth more than what it was two, three, five, ten 10 years ago. But if you're looking to move into the area, it could be viewed as a con because housing is a bit more expensive. And as I mentioned on the cost of living chart, the housing in Troy, Michigan is actually 10% higher than the national average. As of today, the lowest listed price for sale in Troy is just under $200,000. And the highest listed property in the city is at 1 million. The average price of a home in the city of Troy is at $447,000. And as I mentioned, Troy, Michigan has appreciated at a pretty substantial amount, which is 13.1% over the course of the last 12 months. The average price per square foot of a home in the city of Troy is at $204 and compared to the rest of the MLS at $176 per square foot, you can see that it is substantially higher. 
And as of the recording of this video, the city of Troy has a housing supply of 1.3 months. That means if there was not another house listed for sale in Troy, Michigan, the current supply of homes would only last 1.3 months. The next con of the city of Troy would be traffic and transportation. The city of Troy is often looked at as a high traffic area because of the commute in and out of not only the city and, and job opportunities and employment throughout the city itself, but also major cities in the surrounding area like Beverly Hills, Birmingham, Rochester Hills, and even downtown Detroit. So much like other areas throughout Metro Detroit, you will see higher traffic and busier commute times, such as going to or coming back from work around the seven to eight in the morning and around five to six in the evening. And the last con, although it could be viewed in either way, is the lack of activities or entertainment in the city. So as I mentioned, there is no downtown. So this is one of the things that most people come back and say they wish they had a downtown area. Instead, it is just a big community. It is heavily populated and it covers 33 square miles. So it's a big location. But with that, there's not a central downtown location. And as I mentioned previously, there are many things to do, including entertainment, shopping, dining. There are some different areas for nightlife. But overall, people view it because there's not a downtown location location that there is limited activities and entertainment. So overall, when you look at the good and you look at the bad, I think Troy, Michigan heavily weighs the good side. And ultimately, any city that you move to or live around is going to be what you make of it. So if you're looking to move to or live in an area that has plenty of shopping, plenty of dining and entertainment, as well as high property values and a lower cost of living, Troy, Michigan is definitely the spot for you. So if you're looking to move, whether it's one month or one year from now, make sure to get in contact with me and I would love to help you do that. And until then, we'll see you around.